Lift up your hands before the Lord. We want to just tell him he's worthy of all our praise and adoration. Just declare that he is God. It is good to declare that he is God. And there is none like him. He cannot be compared. He cannot be likened. Our heavenly father he is above it all. He is greater than all. He is the creator. Everything else is the work of his hands. He alone is worthy to be exalted and to be magnified forever. This is a great day. We say thank you, Father. We worship you. We adore you. And we give you praise. Thank you because your word brings life. It brings life. You shall be glorified in your word as you change lives. As lives are impacted for your glory. Honor will be with you as forever. We bless you Jehovah as we exalt you. Thank you Holy Spirit for being our help always. For being with us always to confirm the will of God. Blessed be your name O God. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We may take our seats. We are blessed this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to know what we have. Because what we have is our worth. Tell somebody what you have is your worth. Whatever you have is your worth. That is why the country of Kenya, when they are putting you in a position of authority, when you are becoming a senior person, we want to know who you are. What do you have? Because what you have is your worth. And we are also careful lest you are coming in to start stealing, to bring corruption. We need you to declare your wealth. We need to know what you have. And how did you get it? How did you acquire it? Because what you have, I repeat again, what you have is your worth. Even in God, what you have is your worth. That is why the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 3, verse number 20, that our God is able to do much more than what you can ask for. Even what you can imagine, our God is able to do much more. I say much more than what you think, or even what you can ask for. According to Kulingana, somebody listen to this. I say according to Kulingana.
Now listen. Sasa When you go to the bank, ukienda katika benki and you open an account, na unafungua account, you start putting in money. Unaanza kuwekeza pesa. When you go back to the bank, ukirejea katika benki, wanting help from the bank, ukitaka usaidizi kutoka kwa benki. Because we work with the bank. Maana tunafanya kazi na bank. Eh. We put in our money. Tunaweka pesa zetu pale. We withdraw. Tunatoa. When I need money, nikitaka pesa more than what I have. Zaidi ya kile nilicho nacho. They should give me. Wanastahili kunipa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. According to how much I deposit. Kulingana na jinsi nilivyowekeza. Now my account, katika account yangu, speaks inazungumza how much I can be given. In kiwango gani naweza kupatiwa? They can value me. Wanaweza kunidhamini kuni, kuni kiasi gani? the car that I'm driving. Kulingana na, na, na labda gari ambayo naendesha. They can value me. Wanaweza kuni, kuni from the house that I am living in. Kulingana na nyumba ambayo naishi. They can value me. Wanaweza kunifuna udhamana wangu. The that I have for it in living navio. At the end of it all. Lakini mwisho wa mambo yote. They will still have to look at my account. Wao wataangalia account yangu. What is coming in? Ni nini inaingia? What is coming out? Nini natoka? How active? Iko vipi? Is this account? Yafanya kazi kiwango gani? Because the more active it is. Maana ikiwa inafanya kazi vizuri. And the more you put in. Na zaidi unawekeza. The more your value. Ndio basi unapata udhamana zaidi. According to the people of the bank. Kulingana watu wa benki. The more your value. Unadhaminiwa zaidi. So if you are able to put. Kwa hivyo ukiwa unaweza kuweka up to a million shillings in the bank. Milioni moja katika benki. They can even give you 10 million more. Unaweza kupatia elfu uh, milioni kumi. Or even more. Hata zaidi. Because they see. Maana wanaona. They see you are capable. Wanaona una uwezo. You are capable. Una uwezo fulani. You are capable. Una uwezo. Now this God. Sasa huyu Mungu. Our God is also very strange. Mungu wetu pia ni wa kushangaza. He goes by how you determine it. Anaendana na jinsi gani unaidhamini? I say how you determine it. Jinsi gani unaidhamini? Causes God to do it. Inasababisha Mungu kutenda. God goes by your determination. Mungu anaenda na jinsi gani unajibidi? Am I talking to somebody? I said that God goes by your determination. Anaendanisha na jinsi unavyojitii. How much have you tried to put in? Umeweka kiwekeza kiwango gani ndani? That will command the heavens. Am I kusababisha mbingu? That will shape the heavens. Am I kutingiza mbingu? The more you put in, unapoyekeza, the more zaidi you can shape the heavens. Unaweza kutingiza mbingu. The more you put in, zaidi unapoyekeza, zaidi you can be a mover in the shape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shut the world. Unatingiza ulimwengu. And people will feel your presence. Watu sahihi wako wako. Because of what you are putting in. Kwa sababu ya kile unaweka ndani. What you are putting in. Kile unaweka ndani. In the issues of God. Mambo ya Mungu. It is about what you put in. Kuhusu nini unaweka ndani. In terms of your spirituality. Kuzungumzia mambo ya kiroho. Because your spirituality. Maana kiroho yako will command. Itasababisha your physical. Kimwili yako. Your spirituality. Kiroho yako You are physical. Kimwili. Am I talking to somebody? I say kiroho chako. Nasema kiroho chako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your spirituality. Kiroho chako. Commands. Itasababisha. You are physical. Kimwili chako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Nazungumza na mtu. I want to say. Nataka kusema. You better know what you have in you. Afadhali ujue nini uko nayo. You better know what you have in you. Afadhali ujue ni nini uko nayo. If you are a believer. Ni kama wewe ni muamini. The Bible tells us. Biblia inatuambia. In the book of Ephesians chapter number 1. Somo lango wa kwanza. Verse 14. Stari wa 14. Let's listen to what it says. Tutusikie kile inasema. Mhm. Ndiye aliye arabuni ya urithi wetu. Mm. Ili, tu, ili kuleta ukombozi wa milka yake kuwa sifa ya utukufu wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says the Holy Spirit is our deposit guarantee. Ndiyo milka wetu. Ah. Mm-hmm. We are talking about an account. Nazungumza kuhusu account. Now an account is opened. Account imefunguliwa for every believer. Kwa kila muumini. After you have given your life to Christ. Baada ya kupenda maisha yako kwa Kristo. We are starting a, 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 a new life. Tunaanza maisha mpya. We are opening an account. Tunafungua account of purity. Ya purity in Christ. Katika Kristo. And the Holy Spirit. Na Roho Mtakatifu is deposited. Anawekwa to make sure that I have a guarantee kama uko na milki na milki i am assured uko na uhakika there is a seal that is put by the spirit of god kuna muhuri ambayo imewekwa na roho wa mungu and uh, is an assurance na ni uhakikisho is a deposit ni 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 
buri. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, kitabu cha Wakorintho wa pili mlango wa 5, verse 5, tari wa 5, puts it better. Inaiweka vyema zaidi. It says, inasema, the Holy Spirit, Roho Mtakatifu, is our guarantee. Ndio miliki yetu. Deposit guarantee. Ndio guarantee yetu. Of better things to come. Wa mambo mazuri ya kiamani na kuja. Things are coming. Mambo mengine yanakuja. Other things are coming. Mambo mengine yatakuja. Better things are coming. Mambo bora zaidi yanakuja. One thing we are sure. Lakini jambo moja ambalo tuko nalo hapa na account. Ya kama tuko na account. And now listen church. Tukisha kanisa. The car account that has been opened. Account hiyo ambayo imefunguliwa. One day. Siku moja. During the judgment day. Wakati wa hukumu. We will give our account. Tutapatiana account hizo. A statement will be opened. It is good to read here so that we are together. Ni vizuri tusome hapa ili tuwe pamoja. 2 Corinthians chapter number 5. Wa Corintho wa 2 mlango wa 5. Verse 5 to 9. Mstari wa 5 kielekea hadi 9 inasema, basi yeye aliyetufanya kwa ajili ya neno lilo hilo ni Mungu aliyetupata arubani ya roho basi siku zote tuna moyo mkuu tena twajua ya kuwa wakati tuwapo hapa katika mwili tunakaa mbali na Bwana saba maana twaenenda kwa imani si kwa kuona lakini tuna moyo mkuu nasi tu, nasi tunaona ni afadhali kutokuwamo katika mwili na kukaa pamoja na Bwana kwa hiyo Tena, ikiwa tupo hapa au ikiwa hatupo hapa twajitahidi kumpendeza yeye. Number 9. Mstari wa 9. More louder. Mstari wa 9 inasema, mm. kwa hiyo tena ikiwa tupo hapa au ikiwa tupo ikiwa hatupo hapa twajitahidi kumpendeza yeye. Now listen. Sasa sikiza. The Bible says, so we make it our goal. Because we have an account. We have an account with the Holy Spirit. And now this account has been opened. So that we put in. As we put in, we can put out. But don't, don't expect to be getting out without putting in. You know there are people here who can understand it better with the M-Pesa. You know people are better doing better in accounts in M-Pesa than the bank. That's where we have Fuliza, which I call Foolish. And we have uh, M Shwari. Now in in the M Pesa. Katika M Pesa. If you don't put in money, pesa, you don't expect money back. Pesa and if you expect money back, na kama pesa, you will either go for Fuliza, Fuliza or M Shwari. And you cannot go for Fuliza na forever. Fuliza that yours is just removing. 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 Listen. Skiza. It comes to a point. When M-Pesa will not give you money They will look for you Because you owe them That is why we have so many Kenyans Changing their SIM card Because they have taken Fuliza on this line Now they have known they will be caught They throw away that line They get another M-Pesa number Where you want to Fuliza again You go for M-Shwari This is how it is. Even if you leave you. The Holy Spirit has put a deposit. That means when the Spirit has put a deposit, you are able to put in. You are able to remove. That's why I say, according to Ephesians chapter 3, that our God is able, our God is able to do much more than what you can imagine. Did somebody hear me? I said according to the deposit guarantee. That is an assurance. But let me tell you. You could be having a deposit guarantee. And since you are not working hard. Continue putting in. Continue putting in. Let me tell you. Power will not find you. When you do not seek. And seek diligently. Mm -hmm. Because all power Mana, ngu, mungu, belongs to God. Ngu, mungu, ni ya mungu. All power belongs to God. Ni mungu. And you want to hear it clearly? 
mara mbili because it was said maana ilisemekana clearly it had weight ilikuwa na uzito and when you have weight ya kwamba ukiwa na uzito that all power belongs to god nguvu zote ni za mungu you will seek god utatafuta mungu we have a goal and this is a goal na lengo ni hili he says anasema in the as long as we are in this body mradi tuko katika mwili even in the other body hata katika mwili ule mwingine our goal is to please god lengo letu ni kumpendeza mungu our goal is to please god lengo letu ni kumpendeza yeye mungu hallelujah hallelujah you know when it comes to pleasing god inapofikia kumpendeza mungu we please god holistically tunampendeza mungu kwa hali yoyote ile don't be one person who is one sided usiwe mtu ambao ana sehemu moja remind yourself ikumbushe that holistically ya kwamba kwa kivyote you will please god tunampendeza mungu and holistically na kivyote you will put a deposit utaweka to your account yekea now let me tell you the, ch- the church of philippians the philippians philipo were good walikuwa wazuri in their own way katika njia yao to support paul kushikilia paulo in the ministry katika huduma and this is what paul said na paulo anasema hivi that is i want to say nataka kusema may it be put into your account wacha iweke katika account zetu whatever good you do chochote kizuri ambacho unataka will be put into your account iweke katika account zetu whatever good you do chochote kizuri utendacho will be put into your account iweke katika account yako and when it is in your account iweke katika account yako it speaks more grace it speaks more grace somebody here in me in philippians chapter number 4 verse 17 katika wa filipo mlango wa 4 mstari wa 17 that's where paul is talking about hapo ndipo paulo anazungumza kuhusu they are deeds kuhusu matendo yao being put into their account yakiwekwa katika account zao the deeds of supporting the work of a ministry matendo yao ya kushikilia kazi ya huduma it will be put into their account inawekwa katika account and when it is put in their account yakiwekwa katika account Paul uh, ends up in verse 19 saying Paulo anaongeza kitu katika mlango wa 19 mstari wa 16 my god anasema na mungu wangu and my god na mungu wangu shall provide atapea na matatwa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my God. Na Mungu wangu. Because you can never put in. Kwa sababu huwezi weka. And fail to get back. Na ukose kupata. According to his riches in Kuli glory. Kulingana na na, na, na utajiri na utukufu. He will meet you at your point of need. Atakutana na hitaji lako. He will be able. Atakuwa na uwezo. To give you. Kukupea. According to your need. Kulingana na kile unahitaji. Because you have done something. Maana umefanya kitu. You do not just stay there. Au ukiketi tu pale. You are busy. Ulikuwa ulikuwa na umejishughulisha yourself for good ukijitoa kwa uzuri now let me tell you the bible tells us that those who know how to do good kama wale wanaojua kufanya mema and they don't do na watendi to them is a sin kwao ni dhambi my talking to somebody nazungumza na mtu you cannot pray 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 wewe ukaomba ukaomba and again you don't give na tena utoi Am I talking to somebody? Nazungumza na mtu. I want to say this so that you understand. Nataka kusema hii iliwelewe. It's not just about anything but it is everything. Ikuhusu tu chochote lakini vitu vyote. In every way. Katika kila njia. Do it right. Fanya vyema. Commit yourself. Jitolee. Be diligent. Jitolee. In every way. Katika kila njia. Be diligent. Jitolee. In service. Katika kutumisha. Be diligent. Jitolee. In righteousness. Katika uwaki. Be diligent. Jitolee. In giving. Katika kutoa. Be diligent. Jitolee. The first time I had an experience. Wakati wa mara ya kwanza nilipopata with a bank in a unique way. Kukutana na na benki katika njia ya kipekee. Is when I was depositing very little. Ni wakati nilikuwa naekeza kidogo sana. In comparison with now. Kulingana na sasa. And uh, I used to deposit very little. Nilikuwa naweka kidogo sana. But one day lakini siku moja I was in need of money nilikuwa nahitaji pesa and I did not have that money na sikukuwa na hiyo fedha and I spoke to God and I kamzungumzia Mungu I told God you cannot embarrass me nikamwambia Mungu hauwezi kuniaibisha I have to get that money today nataka kupata hiyo pesa leo I don't know how sijui vipi but God have always brought what I have to you lakini Mungu nimekuwa nikileta kile wakati nilicho nacho kwako I'm very faithful na mimi ni mwaminifu kabisa so he told me he spoke to me akanizungumzia as I was praying nilipokuwa nikiona told me go to the bank kaenda katika benki and I went to the bank 
and I told the manager I need money and this is my account I gave my ATM I used to put in money less than what you can imagine I don't even want to say but it was a very little and I gave the manager my ATM he looked at my account and he did not understand how I need that big money again as this what I bank. So that I want to prove to you God is beyond a bank. God is beyond the rules of this world. He does much more than what you can imagine. I used to get a check of only 1,000 shillings in a month. Only 1,000 shillings in a month. And I'll put it in the bank. And the, and, and the following day I'm withdrawing to take my tithe. Those those days we never used to have M-Pesas. So I withdraw. And I bring my tie. And I give, give, and I give, give, give. Let me tell you. Now here is the one person who banks only a thousand bob. And I want 50,000 from the Lord today. I'm not, even, I'm not even discussing. I am saying today. And you know I went to the bank as God instructed me. And I spoke to the manager. He looked at me and laughed. He asked me, do you know how your account looks like? I said, yes. And so what makes you think you are, you, you are worth the, the money you are asking for? And I told the bank manager because my God is able. He looked, he looked at me like he wondered what I am talking about. Let me tell you, church. I got the money. I got the money. I got the money. Don't ask me how. But I got it with a testimony. There was no sin in it. There was no compromise. I was given the money. And after I was given the money, the same God who sent me to the bank, after having made sure I've gotten the money, that day he sent a client to me who is bringing me business. He is the one who sent the client. I did not know the client. And the client comes and calls me. And he gives me business. Worth paying the loan and living surplus to me. So that he proves to me he is the God when he puts a deposit and you continue putting into it putting into it with your good you are doing it with your good you are doing it let me tell you it comes before God that power will command things more than what you can imagine or even what you are praying for I say God is faithful. I say God is faithful. And so my question is, what is in your account? What have you done? Do you have a goal? Do you have a purpose? What do you expect from God? Are you giving in? Or you're just expecting? And one day, we shall come to the day of judgment and we shall be asked about your deeds. There are some people who will never get a crown. Others will get gold. Others will be watchmen. According, according to the state of your account. Your account protects your physical now. In an eternal life. account speaks about you today. In an eternal life. I said God is real today. He is forever more real. He is not real when we die. He is real when we are alive. To see the manifestation of the riches of his glory in these days. In this day. So ask your neighbor what do you have in your account? I want somebody standing on your feet. I need somebody who is going to talk to God. I want to ask yourself what have I done? What have I put in store? And I am talking about holistic. Talk about holistic. Because you don't expect to skip one and get another. The Bible says 
Amesema, those who break one law have broken every other law. So be good. In all you can do, in your service, in your giving, in your commitment, in your love for God, in your righteousness. we have a goal sema tuko na lengo say we have a goal sema tuko na lengo say we have a goal sema tuko na lengo say we have a goal sema tuko na lengo as you lift up your hands before the lord somebody who is going to speak to the lord now kuzunguza na bwana kwa say my father sema baba yangu i pray naomba that you may help me nisaidie i need my account na katika nahitaji account yangu well placed iwe iwe sawa with the right power na nguvu sawa with the right deposit na deposit sawa for my daily need Because today I realize that what is in my account the power that is within me demands uh, my physical demands my physical how I pray father that you may help me help me Lord help me to be faithful help me to be diligent help me to be committed Righteousness. Uhaki. An account. Account that will speak. Amaitazungumza. Grace. Ema. An account. Account that will speak. Amaitazungumza. Favor. Ukukibali. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la Yesu. Lord, I thank you. Bwana nakushukuru. Lord, I bless you. Bwana nakubariki. So help me God. Kwa hivyo nisaidie Mungu. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen.